first theorem one the probability the probability of an impossible event impossible event is zero that is p of phi is equals to zero which one we call it as impossible event phi and s is the certain event you should know this for probability always we call phi as the impossible event and s as some event some certain event now proof the certain event yes and the impossible event phi event phi are mutually exclusive mutually exclusive what is mutually exclusive two events are said to be mutually exclusive if the event of one should not exclude it excludes the event of the other that is what mutually exclusive so from this we can write it yes union phi is equals to yes now taking probability on both the sides taking probability on both sides we get p of s union phi is equals to p of s now from axiom 3 what is axiom 3 if u1 u2 a1 a2 so on an or the finite number of disjoint events then p of a1 union a2 so on an is equals to p of a1 plus p of a2 plus so on p of an so using the axiom 3 by axiom 3 we can write this p of s plus p of phi is equals to p of s when you take this p of s to the other side you will get it as zero p of s minus p of s which will give you zero therefore p of phi is equals to zero hence proved so this is how you will find out the probability of an impossible event is zero now second theorem the probability of an the probability of a complement event a bar of a is given by p of a bar is equals to 1 minus p of a so the probability of a complement event a bar of a is given by p of a bar is equals to 1 minus p of a now proof since we know that since a and a bar are disjoint events that is independent events disjoint events 
then we can say that a union a bar is equals to s so taking probability on both the sides taking probability on both sides what do we get p of a union a bar is equals to p of s now by applying axiom 3 by axiom 3 we can write this as p of a plus p of a bar which is equals to from axiom 2 we can write p of s is equals to 1 in the bracket you can write down since p of s is equals to 1 by axiom 2 therefore p of a plus p of a bar which is equals to 1 from this we can get p of a bar is equals to 1 minus p of a that is the probability of the complementary event a bar of a is p of a bar is equals to 1 minus p of a hence proved now the next theorem theorem 3 third theorem this one they will give you the statement you need to prove it now if a and b are any two events then p of a bar intersection b is equals to p of b minus p of a intersection b if a and b are any two events then we need to prove that p of a bar intersection b is equals to p of b minus p of a intersection b so for this i'll show you through diagram proof I'll show you through Venn diagram. That is, when you take the two events, A and B, then if this is A and this is B, what will be the A intersection B when both the circles are intersecting? That will be the A intersection B. So we call this as A intersection B. and what is a bar intersection b when this whole portion this will give you the a bar intersection b so this is a bar intersection b so from the figure from the figure we know that a intersection b and the a bar intersection b are an independent events that is disjoint events so from this we can say that a intersection b union a bar intersection b is equals to b this is the set b now taking probability on both the sides taking probability on both sides what do we get p of a intersection b union a bar intersection b 
which is equals to p of b now by using the axiom 3 by axiom 3 we can write as p of a intersection b plus p of a bar intersection b is equals to p of b therefore p of a intersection b is equals to p of b minus when you take this to the other side it will become p of a intersection b hence proved this is one of the important theorem which we will be using it for the law of addition of probabilities so even the statements also you need to remember because some of the statements will be using it for the other theorems that is law of addition of probabilities or multiplication of probabilities so the statements also very important always you should remember now the next one Now I am going to teach you the naming theorem. Now I am going to teach you the naming theorem which is very very important. They will ask you like state and prove the law of addition of probabilities. law of addition of probability so first thing the statement p of a union b is equals to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b where A and B are any two sets and are not disjoint. So for this law of addition of probabilities you need to first to show the previous theorem. You have to prove the free previous theorem you need to show how you got p of a intersection b is equals to p of b minus p of a intersection b you need to prove the theorem and then you will continue with the proof proof since since a and a bar intersection B are disjoint events that is independent events then A union B is equals to A union of A bar intersection B now taking probability on both the sides probability on both sides as I told you earlier you need to prove the previous theorem to apply it here now P of A union B which is equals to P of A union A bar intersection B See, always you have to be very very careful in writing the brackets One, even the brackets are rearranged 
if it is not in the proper order then everything will go wrong so a union of a bar intersection b now therefore by axiom 3 p of a union b is equals to p of a plus p of a bar intersection b now from previous theorem this part as i told you by previous theorem so in the exam you should not write it by previous theorem by the previous axiom you need to show each and every time by axiom 3 means what is that axiom 3 by axiom 2 means what is that axiom 2 p of s is equals to 1 axiom 3 means if a1 a2 so on an or the union of disjoint even so on so each and everything you have to show it you should not write it here by previous theorem by previous theorem we can say that p of a bar intersection b is equals to p of b minus p of a intersection b now substitute this in the previous equation what do you get p of a union b which is equals to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b hence proved similarly the next one law of multiplication of probability that is very simple the same way you have to prove it law of multiplication of probability that is if a and b are mutually independent events independent events then p of ab is equals to p of a into p of b so this is what law of multiplication of probability now i am going to show you the example 